All right, let's take a look at a way you can use Bitmojis or, or any picture you wanted to. Um, and then also Jamboard so we can leave what I'm gonna call comment stickers on student work as feedback. So the first thing I have here is you wanna install the Bitmoji extension if you're gonna use Bitmojis, all right? And I already have that installed. You wanna to want to create a Jamboard. To do that, just go to Google Drive and hit the plus button and then go down to more and you'll find Jamboard. And in your Jamboard or in your Jam, you're gonna find different frames and you can easily make more frames. Um, and you want to set up some kind of a comment and matching Bitmoji in each one of those frames. All right, so you can kind of see I've already done that here. I have awesome job. Now, once you've got this all set up, I even have one with uh, some of the classic wrestlers from the early 90s, all right? Uh, you can use those instead if you wanted to. Um, you're going to create a bookmark folder called Bitmoji Comments or whatever you want. So I'm going to my bookmark bar and I'm going to go to right click and I'm going to hit add folder and I'm going to call these Bitmoji Comments. All right. Um, and of course, it went all the way to the bottom here. I'm just going to drag it right up, right up here. And when you do that, each one of these comments has a unique URL. So I'm gonna drag the lock right down to here, all right? And when I click on that folder, I have no idea what this is. So I'm gonna right click on this link and go to edit. And I'm gonna rename this awesome job, okay? On the next one, I'm just gonna go in a rinse and repeat here. I'm going to drag this one down. And this one I'm going to rename, way to go. And then lastly, I can do this one more time uh, for this guy. And this one we'll call crushing it. Now, I've kind of set this up so that this comment, when I go to send it to a kid, uh, I'm just going to use my area snipping tool. And I am using a Chromebook here, so this is fairly simple. Copy it to my clipboard. I can jump into Google Classroom, and then I can paste with Control V. Now. When you paste these, I mean, that's, that's ridiculously large. Um, resize it, you know, I turn it a little bit, maybe throw a black border on there, round off the corners a little bit using the masking tool. All right, you can kind of make that look like a sticker, all right? And you're done, all right? But what if you wanted to personalize this? Um, and now I don't have a touch screen, which kind of makes this a, makes this a little bit more difficult. Um, I can either go back to one of these other slides or keep in mind I could jump to my bookmarks and say, oh, I want to go to the awesome job. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to open up the Jamboard app for my phone. And when I jump onto this, I'm going to use the pen tool to write Dan. All right. And now that's supposed to be a dot at the bottom there. I'll use my snipping tool. And this is the piece here. When you use your snipping tool and copy this, I would right away on your device where you use to write the word Dan, I would probably hit undo and kind of undo all of that stuff so that you can put someone else's name there. All right, you don't wanna to have to use the eraser tool to erase someone's name. I can come into their work and then I can paste this on there and I could resize uh, however I see fit, all right?